Hey guys, this is Menak, your still bro. So today, uh, with the request of one user, we are going to see the design of eccentric footings in Tecla Structural Designer software. So uh, before you know starting the video, I want to say why do you, you know use the eccentric footings? Why are they required at all? So typically, if you consider the plan of footing, suppose this is the footing, uh, column is usually at the center of this uh, you know this particular footing. Suppose this is the column. So uh, this is at the uh, center. Generally, it is done. And uh, sometimes what happens is that we need to provide eccentric footings. So why is that? So let us know the reason first and then we will just proceed. So suppose we have a, you know, this uh, building plot, like this is the building plot, 30, 40, what is, whatever the building plot is. And uh, we want to construct the building in the entire plot. So what happens in that case, suppose the footing is like this, one footing is like this, and uh, the, the other footing is uh, like this. And uh, suppose I'm just drawing for you know simulation for the six number of puttings. Another putting is like this. Another putting is uh, like this. And another putting is like this. And another putting is like this. So uh, when we uh, just go for our you know your columns. So what happens? Suppose the column. If I use the full area, then I have to give one column here, and another column I have to give here. Another column I have to give here. Another column I have to give here. And another suppose in this corner another in this corner so generally this for this reason when you use the full area or you uh, the boundary distance is less than the eccentric footing is used so this is placed at the extreme corner it might be poss also possible that you know the uh, building uh, offset is less so suppose the column can also be in place of the extreme corner the column can also be you know suppose let's say in this portion the, this uh, left side is uh, less than the right side. So this can be also the uh, case. So generally in this case of eccentric footings, we also provide you know a, a beam to connect the uh, footings also. This also uh, is given. But uh, let's see, uh, you know, this. Uh, there are various uh, software which are available to do this and also manual calculations. By manual calculation also we can design these footings. There are uh, the manual calculation available. But uh, let's see uh, to uh, which extent the Tecla can design the eccentric footing. Obviously, extreme footing if you design extreme left or extreme right in the extreme corner, the, 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 you know, this uh, particular design will fail. So, but what is the process available in the software? Let's see. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll utilize the best of the options which are available in the software. So, let's uh, take a general uh, building here. We'll take just go for a new, uh, new file here. We'll open it. And... Uh, after that, in the base, we'll just uh, create a the frame. Uh, just for that, go to model and uh, go to this uh, rectangular wizard. And in the rectangular wizard, let's uh, just create uh, it's a grid line. And uh, x direction, let's count four or count uh, count four and uh, five meter each. And uh, y direction, count uh, three. Let's see. Uh, and this also will go with uh, four meter each. And then next and next and uh, finish. So this is a grid which has been created. And uh, let's now uh, go and uh, uh, just do here the columns. So we'll just select the columns here. Column size 400, 400 by default. And uh, this uh, we have provided. And we'll just uh, assign the columns here. Okay. So for assigning the columns, we'll go to this uh, structure foundation for structure levels. Okay. This is the structure base. And let's insert a level below, and uh, this let be this minus one point two meter, and uh, here let's insert a level above, and uh, the the spacing let be is three point two meter, and uh, one more flow let's go three point two meter. This uh, will do SSL structure slab level for these two floors, and uh, slab thickness of one fifty. Here also let's do one fifty, and okay. So like this we have done and uh, we we'll go to the uh, structure window levels and the extreme base. Uh, I'll select the columns and uh, in place of the columns we'll select uh, you know FP. Just uh, place the columns here like this. And after placing the columns we'll just uh, do here. Uh, as you can see these columns are at the side. So <clears throat> just press Ctrl plus uh, Z, Z, Z and uh, just place these columns here. I can see columns are placed along the grids here. So if we just press Ctrl plus Z and now, uh, if you want to place the columns at the center, we'll just uh, select here, automatic alignment, deselect, and it will be columns will be placed at the center. So now we can see columns are placed, we'll go to the structure 3D, the columns are placed, same, we'll go to the structure base, 
uh, in the beam, uh, we'll just uh, select the uh, your reinforcement, or oh, sorry, plane beam, and the plane beam has been done. And then we'll go to uh, do the uh, first floor, and in the first floor, we'll also make the uh, roof beams here. And the roof beams are done, and also we'll make the slabs here. And uh, we're not considering any staircase, so any portion will not be vacant here. So once this is done, we'll copy this to the next level, go to construction levels, and we'll do this two as one and click on okay and then we'll do construction levels and then make this pack as unique and then click on okay uh, so once this is done we'll make sure our supports are fixed here so uh, here we'll just uh, select this and uh, this is selected and uh, we'll make this support as fixed and uh, when this is done and we'll click on escape so uh, this uh, particular thing is done and we'll assign some loads also to the structure so that on this to uh, for the design purpose. So let's me, uh, let me just uh, select the dead load and uh, uh, we'll select load here and uh, full, uh, sorry, uh, you know, this uh, full UDL and uh, we'll select a load of, let's say, uh, uh, I'm considering five inch uh, walls and select a load of seven and uh, we'll apply it in all the spans so uh, like in stat, uh, you can select all of them and apply at once. But here, as you can see, there is no such option. So you have to just apply in each and every uh, portion here. So that takes some time. And uh, after that, uh, you can see the load in this uh, dead load portion like this. And in the go to the next floor, uh, when you go to structure one and in the structure one also, just first of all, give the dead load, full UDL also uh seven in all the beams will give the same load first of all i'm just making the loads along the periphery here uh, and then so uh, while assigning also make sure you don't uh, just uh, click on one beam twice or otherwise the load will be assigned twice in one beam and after that, I'll also assign a you know this uh, load finish load of uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and we'll apply it here. Load finish load as a dead load, and uh, in the next floor that is a terrace floor, I'll go to structure two, and I'm going to apply a load of three along my parapet wall. We'll go to dead and a full UDL and a three kilojoule per meter along the you know this perimeter. I'll apply. This is the load of the uh, parapet. Uh, in the roof slab and uh, full finished load not repaired. Now we'll go uh, to a structure one and uh, we'll go to impost and we'll apply uh, you know level load of uh, two kilonewton per meter square here. And uh, this is the dead load and this is the impost load which we have applied. And uh, you know after having done that, uh, we will go to design and design all static. So load combinations have not been done. So load and go to combinations and uh, we'll generate some load combinations here. Next. And uh, we'll not apply seismic load till now. Okay, next, next, finish and okay. So uh, now let's also apply the seismic load also, seismic wizard and uh, next. And uh, so ignore seismic below your plinth level and uh, zone, let's skip zone five important factor of one and uh, click on next next and, and then just give this uh, and uh, then moment frame system moment frame system and obviously we'll consider ductile detailing smrf and click on next and uh, then select everything and then next and then uh, uh, click on finish so after that uh, operating next and uh, next finish and then we'll go to design and design all static. So I uh, know before designing the foundation, you have to design the entire structure. That's why it took uh, the time. So once uh, the uh, structure is uh, designed and then we can go for the uh, remaining things. So uh, here uh, there is uh, some, you know, warning which is coming. So here, what is the warning you can check here. Uh, right click and uh, then uh, just check member static what is the thing which is coming here so it is uh failing in the ties okay so i guess this can be fixed so we'll go to this uh, 
uh, we'll go to uh, design and we'll go to the settings and in the settings you'll find in the column uh, we'll have this uh, ties here and uh, general parameters uh, here so type um, uh, var size clear spacing and maximum spacing let's give this a uh, uh, spacing maximum spacing 150 okay and uh, then click on okay and then uh, if you just design uh, design selection let me just design one column now it is perfectly fine so you can see all columns are fine now and if you just design one beam here uh, design member static so uh, okay there is some warning in the beam so long vision bars and uh, you know it's fading in the bar limit okay so that can be fixed definitely so let's see what uh, is that uh, reinforcement which is coming so uh, here it is coming 2h20 and uh, 2h16 and here also to, uh, 20 and 16 20 and 16 so i don't think there is any bar limit issue here so okay so we'll resolve the issue later there is uh you know, design is fair according to me here the bar limits also so this two bars of 20 mm, two bars of 16 mm, two bars of 20 mm, two bars of 16 mm. So bar limits are okay uh, as per me. So there is no such errors. You know, sometimes because this is not exclusive design for the Indian code. So that's why some, you know, error might occur, but uh, it's fine. So this is uh, okay. And uh, once uh, this is done, uh, what we do? Uh, we'll just uh, design the foundation. So uh, another thing, let me just uh, see here. I'll just uh, select this uh, beam here, all the beams like this, and uh, beams have been selected. And uh, let's see the rebar uh, here. I'll just do this FP 500 and FP 500, and then uh, right click and then design selection static. Let's see. So now, okay, if you, when you give FP500, then everything is uh, passing. And obviously, you know, if you followed my videos earlier, there is some glitch in this, then that uh, plain beam. So that's why there's the warning is showing, but uh, the design is perfectly okay, right? So uh, this uh, thing we have, we need to do just to make the you know, members pass. Now let's go for the foundation. So uh, foundation will go with regular pad base. And uh, here, uh, nothing much uh, we need to do. And FP500 is there, just to select this foundation and then uh, then we'll go with the design uh, pad basis, right? And then obviously development link warning will come in the foundation, but the foundation will be designed uh, properly as you can see here. Uh, now, uh, this uh, particular foundation, suppose, uh, let me consider this particular foundation and this is at the center, if you just observe. Uh, this is at the center. Now, if I want to just uh, make this uh, foundation a little bit eccentric, so let's see what we can do. So uh, here, eccentricity in x and y direction. So a tech line, you can see y direction is this side and x direction is this side. So eccentricity in y direction, let's give this, uh, suppose, uh, make me uh, eccentric of 200 mm. So 200 mm eccentric I have made. And uh, after that, right click, and uh, then I uh, just go design mm. So obviously it is failing. Now it is failing uh, in eccentricity bearing capacity also it is failing. So now let me reduce the eccentricity a little bit, 100. And then I'll check right click and then uh, design member. It is uh, better, but it is still failing, right? And uh, then we'll go this eccentricity of 50 mm. And then we'll go right click and then design member. Still it is failing go with the eccentricity of uh, let's say of 10 mm 10 mm and then right click and then uh, design member and then it is passing so what do you understand from this suppose i want to i have no other option but to design an eccentric uh, column so how to do that then i have to obviously increase the size of the footing so suppose i am considering eccentricity of 200 then let me give a size here of uh, 3000 into 3000 so that's the you know thing uh, which we need to do we need to increase the size here and now then i'll give a sentence suppose of uh, 1500 no not not in this direction uh, minus 1500 or a uh, little bit less let's see 1000 
like this. This is a totally centric thing. And uh, let's see right click and then uh, and then design member. Uh, it is failing now, as you can see here. So there are limits to it. Let me just keep minus 800 and then right click and design member still failing. You can see minus 500 right click and design member so it is now pass so like this you can do uh now that you know right till now you must have got the idea that you know totally eccentric if you place at the corner there is no way that the it will pass and in that case you have to give combined footing or we have to give you know this uh you know this beam uh between these two footings so unfortunately we can uh, design combined footing in tecla structural designer but uh the footing with beams that is not possible here so eccentric footings uh, design is can be done uh, like this in the Tecla Structural Designer. Exactly. This is the process, but it has some limitations as we will see. So if we, if we want to design you know, fully eccentric, then we have to uh, you know provide, do it by manual design and the footing size may be large. In normal size footing, if you give eccentric, definitely the structure will not pass uh, in the model. And uh, if you are going for a government project for writing purposes, then you have to, uh, that uh, design will not be accepted. Okay. So that is the concept of eccentric footing. And that is the, all the, that these, are, these are all the things which can be, can be done in the technical structural designer in terms of the eccentric footing. So uh, keep learning and uh, be curious, keep learning. Bye-bye. Uh, have a nice day.